Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am here today to show you the swap goodies that I created for Lisa. Um, she's a new friend and she uh, asked me on Instagram if I would like to do a pocket letter swap with her, which I've been totally getting back into pocket letters. I, they're fun. <laughs> And I totally forgot about, you know, doing them because I've done maybe a couple in the last couple of uh, months or so, and I forgot how fun they are. So I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and do one. So she wanted to do it in a Halloween theme. So I decided to use um, Doodlebug uh, candy, what is it called? Candy, candy carnival. That's the name of it. So, um... I decided to use that. I didn't have a ton of stuff. And I was like, well, I reached out to her and I was like, well, maybe I'll do mine in fall because I don't have a lot of stuff. So, but I worked it out. And since I bought the whole collection of the Candy Carnival, I was able to uh, pull it all together. So I'm just going to show you guys uh, the things that I created for her. So I'm super excited to send them to her. So um, the first thing that I did was I made this cute little card. Um, so I just wanted to do something simple because I always um, like to send a card with all of my swaps or anytime I send somebody something. So I just used some Black Recollections cardstock, or it could be from Hobby Lobby, but I think it's from uh, Michael's. Um, I layered on a piece of the collection paper, and then I put a white piece of uh, paper on top, which this is 110 because um, I like my cards to be nice and sturdy. Um, and then I use some of the ephemera pieces, which I just love this guy right here. He's so super cute. Um, I did add a little gem in the center, um, which I think I picked those up from Michael's quite some time ago. Um, and then this is one of the ephemera pieces as well as these cute little stars. I did go ahead and put it up on foam tape so that it has that little bit of dimension. Uh, on the card. I put a couple of the stars on foam tape as well and then two of them I left flat but so super cute and so simple and easy to make um, and plus um, with Doodlebug I tend to buy like the entire collection and I always end up with like ephemera left over but no more paper so I've been really trying to use all of that stuff when I'm creating so that I that doesn't happen. Um, and here's the inside. I layered some more 110 in here. This is another little piece from the collection. And I can just write her a quick little note in there. But just really cute and simple and fun and loving those ephemera pieces that come with that collection. All right, and then I'll show you the pocket letter, which I'm so excited about this. This is so cute. Um, so I'll go through it. Uh, um, layer by layer or whatever you want to say it row by row um so first of all on the side i did use this cute little orange tool that i picked up at um the dollar tree um and it has glitter in it already and i just tied some bows um i didn't cover up the holes because i like to keep mine in a binder so she may do want to do the same but um i didn't tie it inside of um the hole i just kind of placed it right above so if, if, if that is how she stores her she'll still be able to use the little holes to uh, connect it into a binder um, and then, of course, I use some of the, uh, all of this is collection paper. Um, some of them are cut aparts. The ones that have the words on there, those were cut aparts. So I used some of those and just, you know, made them fit into the pocket. Um, this was one of the cute little sheets of paper. And I put this cute little girl on here, um, which is one of the ephemera pieces. I did put her up on some foam tape. And then I put her in front of this Ferris wheel looking thing that's back there. I put a little bit of stickles in, on her little uh, ears. Um, and then I put this other cute little um, witch character on there. She's so cute. Um, and then I did the same thing. I put her up on foam tape. And I added this cute little pumpkin over here. And I put some a little bit stickles on the top of the pumpkin. And then I just added a couple little gems on there as well. Um, just to finish off that section, but I love these cut aparts. They're so cute. You don't really have to do a lot to them because they're already super cute. Um, in the middle section, um, this paper line comes with a cute little train. There was one more little character, but I couldn't get them all to fit, so I just used four of them. Um, so 
I did go ahead and um, just put them on individually. I used this black and white twine to kind of connect them. Um, so it looks like one, you know, long train. So super cute. How cute are these little characters inside of there? Um, I did put a little bit of stickles on one of the balloons just to get a, give it a little shimmer. Um, I did use my fuse tool and I closed this whole entire section because I did put sequins in all of these um, so that they're all like little shakers um, with the train on top. So I thought that was so cute. Um, this cute little mix that's in here, for the most part, um, I bought this mix from uh, Nurse Tara's store, which is Urban Gems. I did add a few little things like you see these little pumpkins and these little pieces that are in here that are like little plastic um, baubles or whatever you want to call them. Um, I did add that in, but for the most part, the greens and the purples and all of that was already in the mix. So loving that. And then here's the very last row, which all three of these were cut apart. So the only thing I had to do is, you know, cut them and um, make them fit into the pockets. I did put another piece of ephemera over here, a cute little spider. I added some cute little um, candy corns and I put a little bit of stickles on the white portion of the candy corn. And then on this one, this this came from one of the doodle pops that I used. Um, so I just added on here because it was the last one left on there. So I wanted to use it somewhere, but absolutely love how this came out. So super cute. And I really hope that she enjoys it. It was super fun to make. Um, the next thing that I did, which I've shown this before, I knew I was going to gift it anyways. So since it's the same paper collection and we're doing a swap, I will be uh, sharing this cute little uh, tag paper clip flip, which I followed bonus tutorial. I have shown this before, but I know there's some new subbies on here. So I'll just do a quick little flip through. So of course I did use the same candy carnival um, paper. And then I just used tons of the ephemera. I really want to use up all the stuff that comes with the collection. I made a couple of cute buttons and added them on there and just some little word pieces. And then here's the next page. This is the only, these two pieces are, have nothing to do with the collection. I have a die for the coffin and I had this little wooden piece already uh, in my stash for Halloween. Um, this is a doodle pop and this little piece is also from the collection. And then here's the next page. So super cute. And she can put little pictures in there. Like if you have one of those little tiny printer um, that you can do pictures, you can slide a picture under here. This is not uh, adhered if she wanted to, but it's up to her what she wants to do with it. And I just added this cute little pumpkin on there and this cute little paper clip. So I'll be sending that as well. Um, the last things that um, I am going to share with her, I had made some of these cute little tool bows with the um, the sequins in there, which I followed uh, Mimi's tutorial on how to create them. I didn't put anything in the center. I wanted to leave them blank so she can add whatever little pieces she may want when she goes to use them. Um, I created some cute little bag toppers. This is one of the doodle pops from the collection, which is so super cute. And then um, these are just ephemera pieces. This was on that same doodle pop uh, with the pumpkin. So I added that on there. So just loving, loving this collection. That was a goodbye. And then I am going to share some of my braided lollipops. I had to put them in upside down. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to put the bag topper on there. Um, so Again, I just used one of those tool bows that I created. I put a, a, a little black gem under there. She can totally take this off and use this on something else or reuse the back topper if she chooses to. And then I just added some of my, my braided uh, candy corn lollipops in there for her to have. So I really hope that she enjoys everything. I'm so loving doing um, pocket letters again. So fun. So I do have a couple more swaps coming up uh, that involve pocket letters, but then I'm probably going to be done with it. <laughs> so I don't want to wear it out. Um, but thank you guys so much for stopping by to take a look at her fun little goodies. And I really hope that she enjoys it. So I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye. Have a good day. Um, I'll link um, the information in the description box for 
um, her Instagram um, page as well as mine. If you guys are not following me, you can also follow me on Instagram as well. So have a good day. Bye.